When embarking on a career change into a new industry, you might think that your previous experience is redundant and worry that your lack of relevant skills might hold you back from getting hired. The reality couldn't be more different. This is where transferable skills and soft skills come in. Whatever your background or previous experience, you've probably developed valuable skills that can play a vital role in forging your new career path. When it comes to applying for jobs, these unique skills will set you apart from the competition and can demonstrate the value that you bring to a company. In this video, we'll speak to some career changers to get their take on why transferable skills and soft skills are important, learn how they leverage their skills for a job in tech, and find out how you can best practice your soft skills. Let's dive right in and hear from our career changers. Hello, my name is Teresa Lofman and I am an opera singer turned web developer. I graduated the full stack web development program with Career Foundry back in the fall of 2020. And within about six months, I was offered my first position to work for a ministry here in Colorado. I am currently still employed with them. We have a team that maintains and continues to build features for five different websites. There's so many soft skills that are transferable from other careers into tech, and I've done my best to whittle it down to 10. Um, so these are the top 10 soft skills that I think is vital for a person in tech to have. Number one would be to be a good active listener and active questioner. Two is to have an extreme attention to detail. Three is to have great communication skills. Four, critical thinking. Five, flexibility and adaptability. Six, to be a good team player. Seven, to have good time and task management. Eight, patience, that is a big one. Nine, self-motivation, also huge. And the most important one, I believe, is an endless thirst for knowledge because you're continually growing, continually learning, and you really need to have a passion for that. Hi, um, I am Florian. Um, I'm a product design lead at a company called Hago. If you want to work in tech, there are a few transferable soft skills that I think are really key um, to working in, in a tech environment. Uh, and you either ideally bring those already or you develop them over time because I think that all soft skills can be developed. Um, so these three are empathy, communication and reflection. So let's go into detail there. Empathy is super important as a designer anyway. Uh, you need to be able to empathize with your users um, all the time in order to understand what they actually need and want. Um, but that it goes beyond that in terms of like the tech sector, you will be working cross-functional teams or at least in, in settings with, with different people with different roles in them. So engineers, product managers, um, marketing um, teams, for example, as well. Uh, and of course, your, your CEOs, um, depending on what kind of company you work in, but it's definitely not uh, something that doesn't happen. Um, and you need to be able to really, you know, put yourself in their shoes as well. Um, stakeholder management is very important. So I think empathy is, is going to get you um, very far. Then communication, uh, for a similar reason, you need to be able to um, communicate um, your design, design decisions and, and things you do clearly to both your fellow designers, if there are any, um, but also to all your colleagues that are not designers and that might not understand all the lingo and all the things that you do and why you do them. So being able to clearly communicate why you are doing things is very important. Um, then lastly, reflection. Um, this one is most important for yourself, I think, um, because there will be stuff happening that, you know, stuff goes wrong. And if you can reflect, you will be able to learn from those mistakes, from those things going wrong. Uh, and that's very important to be, you know, to be reflective basically. And um, just being able to, to draw learnings from, from situations, um, yeah. Okay, so for me, the key transferable and soft skills needed for a career in tech is all about communication. I work as a product owner and my job is basically communicating a product vision to our team and making sure that everyone buys into that vision. So um, I am not a developer, aka I can't write a line of code. Although I have developed a front-end website, but in my day-to-day -day role, I do zero coding whatsoever. And I don't have to design as much because I am a product owner. So 
my job is really about communicating with the designers, the developers, <laughs> the architects and everyone else on my team in order to build a product that our customers love and I am the driving force of. Hello, uh, my name is Julian. I am an account manager and producer living in Berlin and we are in my home office. I think that one of the most key transferable skills for working in tech would be empathy. I believe that whether you are a coder, community manager, an account manager, or a designer, I think that being able to put yourself in the shoes of other people and understand their goals, understand their pain points, understand how they're using all of these products and services that we're creating, I think that that kind of perspective is incredibly valuable. I think that it will allow you to understand your role uh, and whatever that is much better, much more holistically, and I think it'll allow you to provide the best services and create the best products for the people that you're working for. I think that it will allow you to be curious and creative and think about solutions to problems that maybe don't even yet exist. I think empathy is incredibly important and whatever role you have in a tech company or any type of company, I think being able to understand your consumer bases and be able to think like them is incredibly valuable. Example of a transferable skill that I have brought with me into my current position is endless thirst for knowledge. I have loved getting to learn new languages and frameworks through my current position, and um, it has given me the ability to study and get certified as an AWS cloud practitioner and a certified Scrum developer. Every day I take about an hour and read up on Medium articles to improve my current skills as well as learn new ones, which I just love. And it has made me and continues to make me a better developer because of it. An example of a skill that I brought into um, my career in tech from before that I think was heavily beneficial for me was um, systematic thinking. So um, I've studied philosophy and um, also always try to work in a very systematic way in everything that I do, I think it comes natural to me. Um, and that was very helpful for my design career because um, so first of all, a lot of stuff you always think is like about creativity, which is very free flowing, which is true to an extent. But um, design often is, is not a creative pursuit, but rather a systematic pursuit as well. You need to be able to understand um, your users in a systematic way as well. Even though you empathize with them, you still need to be able to translate that into something tangible that you can actually work on and um, do, you know, deliver into a design. So um, systematic thinking has, has helped me very much um, both, you know, finding a job and, and, and maintaining a job and growing in my career. And of course, if I had to give an example of a transferable skill that I've therefore brought into my current position for my previous role, again, it would be the communication. Because previously I was a management consultant, which meant that I worked a lot with different clients and different senior stakeholders. And in a consulting role where you work with new and diverse people all the time, you just need to be able to communicate really well and really effectively, which hopefully you agree I can do. A transferable skill that I've uh, definitely been able to bring to my current role would be my empathy. I am a people person. I come from a social science background. I've always been interested in how people think, how they tick, and how I can best relate to them. And that's helped me a lot as a manager because it's allowed me to work with difficult personalities, difficult clients, large egos. I've been able to see them as people. I've been able to understand that they're also just employees uh, who probably have a boss and deadlines and other external pressures like I do. And so I haven't taken things personally when they show frustration or uh, whatever. Uh, I'm kind of able to, to curb all of those energies and not take them personally, just see the person for, for who they are and work with them. And that's fostered some beautiful relationships. It's led to a lot of fun and successful projects and also just less work stress uh, because I I'm not dreading having to have a call with this or that person. I have control of uh, the energies around me and uh, I have control of the energies that I choose to affect affect my, my inner peace. So that's helped me quite a lot. 
don't know if there's really a great way to practice your soft skills. I really feel like every single person is gifted with their own set of soft skills and they're different from each other and that's what makes us unique and individual. Um, when I was considering making my career change, one of the first things I did was make a big list of all of the qualities that I feel like I've developed through my time as a teacher and a performer. Um, I just made a huge list, whether they were soft skills or actual technical skills. And I used that list to try and compare it to different careers that I was considering and what would be a good match. And that's how I found that most of the soft skills I had really do relate into a career into tech. So as an idea of what you can do to practice your soft skills, no matter where you are currently in your career transition, if you're in front, like haven't even started, or if you're in the middle of it, or close to the finish, um, I say collaborate. Collaborate with your either fellow designers, engineers, or product managers, whatever you have available, basically, you know, like just find someone to work on a project because that's what you rarely have that you're just in working in your siloed working alone um, you will always have to collaborate with people and that is where most of your soft skills are, ne uh, are needed so um, find another developer that's currently changing careers and just do something together and learn from it and yeah in terms of how i best practice this skill um it all started with putting myself out there. So for example, when I first graduated, trying to um, lead meetings. At my first company, we had a lunch and learn. Employees would basically present on a topic for 10, 15 minutes during lunchtime. And yeah, I used to be really, really quite scared of presenting and really quite scared of being in the spotlight. But through practice, 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 you quickly get used to hearing your voice over and over. I think that you can practice your soft skills in a lot of different ways. Uh, it depends on what they are, and I think it depends on if the person is aware of them. I know myself to be a very empathetic and sensitive person, and I am that person outside of work as well. And so I make sure that I'm talking constantly to friends, family, to strangers, um, constantly trying to learn new perspectives, challenge my own beliefs, my own perspectives and ideas, um, and stay open-minded uh, in general so that I can be open-minded when I have to apply it to a work context. That's how I personally practice my soft skills. And so I think it takes awareness, being aware of what it is that moves you, what it is that really drives you as a person. And once you know what those skills are, making sure that you are applying them to your your real life as well and not just your work life. If you see those soft skills as purely functional skills, then I think you can become robotic, uh, you lose energy, um, become unauthentic. And so being aware of your skills, whatever they are, and applying them to your real life and trying to work on them in real life settings, I think is important. Um, and that can go for any any type of skills. I almost feel like soft skills are even more important than technical skills because technical skills can be learned and taught, but soft skills are something that's unique and special about you. I think they they make you a better coworker. They make you someone that others want to be around and to continue to work with. Um, they enhance your ability to do your job. They help you find what career is a good match for you. and. Like for instance, going back to thir thirst for knowledge, if you hated that and you hated learning and you just did not have a drive to continue to learn, you just wanted to learn what you could and then be done, this would be an awful career for you because that's pretty much what it is all about is that thirst for knowledge and continuing to learn and to continuing to grow. So it really helps you find your place in this world and um, helps you to be the happiest you can doing your job. So soft skills are so important these days, and especially in tech, because um, we started to cross the boundaries of, um, of our professions uh, for a long time now. Um, and I mean, especially in the last 30 or 40 years, um, where tech has come to life, um, we, we really started to embrace that, you know, putting designers and engineers into one room instead of putting them into a room of each other's is, you know, is beneficial. But of course, that also makes the soft skills 
a lot more important because why do I need to communicate effectively if I'm just talking to designers who get what I'm saying and doing anyway? Um, but now I'm put into a room with other people who do not know what I'm doing here. Uh, and I need to be able to communicate effectively uh, in order to, to achieve that. And um, yeah, and then also what, I've, what I think is why it's so important is soft skills are amplifiers for your hard skills. So let's say I make a really, really good design, you know, I'm a really good designer and I do like awesome stuff. But I'm, I'm not, I'm absolutely not an effective communicator. So um, I put those designs out there and I don't communicate well um, about them. Uh, that means it'll be misunderstood by engineers, product managers, marketers, whoever I'm working with at the moment, maybe even clients if you work freelance. Um, and that'll cost you time and that'll be frustrating for both ends. Um, and it'll also affect your designs because um, it'll, it'll shed a, a light on it, basically. Even though the work in itself is perfectly fine, uh, I think it'll, it'll affect your work. So if you communicate those designs in a very good way, very effectively, it'll make your designs better without, you know, your designs changing at all, but it'll make them feel better. So this is why I think soft skills are amplifiers for, for your hard skills. Why are soft skills so important in today's world of work? particularly in regards to working in tech. And I think soft skills are really important in today's world of work, especially if you work in tech, because there are so many more roles in tech. I think when people think about tech, you think just about developing and coding and just the cool things that you see in films. But tech teams are made up of way more than just developers. And developing is so hard that uh, really coders don't have much time to think about all the other shiny stuff that goes into making a product loved and that's why you have product owners on the team for example or designers on the team and yeah constantly you are trying to communicate your view your thoughts your desires and um communication is of course the biggest key i think that soft skills are incredibly important uh, in today's technological world especially if you're working in tech, um, because the planet and the world of technology uh, is so interconnected and much more human focused than it ever has been in history. Um, it's not just important to create products and services that uh, fulfill certain goals and serve certain functions, um, but to understand the holistic picture and uh, realize that you're part of a larger ecosystem and everything that you create, that you do, that you post online has larger consequences um, and could potentially be affecting people and processes and societies uh, that we might not be aware of. Uh, and so it's important to have those soft skills. And I'm very happy that soft skills are important uh, for tech nowadays because there was a time when they weren't important. There was a time when it was only really necessary to hire someone who had certain hard skills, who could build an app, who can build you know, certain uh, software. And I'm very happy to see that uh, the world is becoming more, more humanistic, um, more aware of the fact that we are humans using these technologies um, and that we have to take certain things into consideration to make sure that we're creating tools that are safe, um, tools that are, that are pleasant to use um, and tools that are useful to the world. Um, I think having those perspectives is becoming increasingly more important as the world becomes more globalized. Um, and that's why soft skills are so important um, because they're necessary to seeing the larger picture um, and necessary to seeing tech, not just as a functional means to certain ends, um, but as an engine that is uh, servicing us at the end of the day and should have our best interests at heart. So having those soft skills is necessary for, uh, for that perspective. Thank you.